Hi friends, this is video about average day in my life. I'm starting my days early, usually it is about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and after a short bathroom break I'm going straight to my desk and work on the most important task of the day. Something that I decided to do on a day before. That can be and is very different every single day. Video editing, learning, writing, programming, whatever fits my plan for the day and moves me forward with my mind goals of the current year, months and week. My team here, that is deep focus work. And morning hours work the best for deep and focused work for me. Lately I am wearing too many hats and doing too many different things to be sure how to introduce myself. <laughs> so is it iOS developer or what? I am doing iOS development as freelancer, I am doing iOS development for my own projects. I am product manager in startup which I've co-founded and also I am running this YouTube channel and Instagram profile. So in real life I am jack of all trades and master of none. Okay, morning was for focused work, but few hours later it is time for exercise and I pick skipping rope and dumbbells or just going out for a run. After shower and breakfast I am ready to go back to the work. I am spending the next working block on the first part of the working day on personal projects or on startup, which we started together with four more co-founders. Our startup, basically all of that is on mobile phone, yeah, that's Android and our product is product package for small and medium size retail customers, yeah, shops, merchants and so on and that is online inventory system, cash register and payment application on and everything of that is on the mobile phone. So basically you need nothing more but a phone and app from Google Play Store to start working. My role here is product owner and manager for payment related apps and infrastructure so I'm still not an Android developer. <laughs> And even I just published our uh, app on the Google Play Store. I'm on a bit higher abstraction level of the on the app development, so I'm still not coding for Android. This week was very focused on startup tasks and quite busy because we participate in the Mastercard Lighthouse program for startups in Baltic and Nordic region. We are one of 15 from more than 200 tech startups selected to participate in this program. We had kickoff meeting on Monday and. And then for the following three days we had six 30-minute product presentation meetings for MasterCard, banking partners, investors and strategy experts. And we finished this round on Thursday with presentation for MasterCard. In the next week we will know if any of the partners will like to move forward with us. But Regardless what participating banks will say, we already get in touch with MasterCard, agreed on some next steps what we could do to move forward and that is win for us. Of course, all that happens online and that means I had all week long online calls and um, those pitches, all those meetings was online and yeah, basically again was sitting in front of computer and talking to the camera. Uh, back when <laughs> that was a thing I used to go to the coffee shop in the middle of the day and work from there for the rest of the day but that's not an option anymore all the coffee shops are closed since the end of the last year so hopefully hopefully they will be open at some day soon but not a thing yet. The second part of the day is for freelancing. I still have to pay my bills and freelancing still is my revenue income source and so I am programming for a living and I am working on iOS projects. Uh, I'm, I, I could I could down my freelancing project hours since I finished working on a small world iOS application. That was a very interesting project. I was working for them for almost two years and we built a lot of interesting stuff. Their business in, in tourism and of course currently the, that's not the best time for them. And yeah, my contract was going to the end and I wanted to cut my freelancing hours anyway to be able to spend some time on the startup and on my own projects. So I'm working for freelancing projects only on the afternoon and I'm spending in average five hours in a day uh, freelancing. 
and currently I'm working on quite a big project. I and one more iOS developer, we are rewriting iOS application with a lot of users uh, to Swift UI projects and not only just to rewrite to the latest and greatest technology, of course, no, but there are plenty of changes in user interface planned for that application. A lot of new functionality is planned to add to this project and that's why basically we are rewriting it. That's quite interesting project. That is all the latest and greatest stuff. iOS 14, Swift UI, so I am quite excited to work on it. Usually I'm not really happy to freelance because basically you are selling your time and I would like to buy <laughs> more time to hire people to do something for me. Oh, actually, I don't need those. So, and basically I am selling my time, but in the same time I am learning Swift UI. That another guy on the project, he have quite a big, quite a lot of experience in Swift UI projects. He already working on big production Swift UI projects and yeah. That's my chance to learn a lot and in the same time to be paid to learn new things. So that's win-win. Win for me, I am learning new stuff and win for customer, he's getting my working hours. So yeah, and learning this Swift UI on the freelancing project will help hopefully to move faster with my own Swift UI projects. My task, uh, my habit tracking application is moving forward very slow, but that is the price what you are paying when you are working on too much projects in the same time. So yeah, of course, if you can focus on one project and work on only on that, that's the best of course, and you will move way more, way more faster in that way, but not this thing for me. <laughs> and. I'm trying to finish my work day at about 6 o'clock of the evening and then it is time to go out for a walk. Uh, usually we have about 5 kilometers walk with dog and together with my wife. I hope that spring will come someday soon. We still have a lot of snow outside, but when spring will come and we, it will become and it will become a little bit warmer, we will slowly switch to the bicycle rides on the evenings, but anyways, yeah, evenings is family time and at about 9 or 10 at the clock uh, on the evening at night I am trying to be in a bed already because uh, you know if you like to be early out of the bed you first thing what to do is to be early in the bed as well but sometimes I'm staying up longer just to participate on some live streams and so on or record some YouTube videos at the night when everyone is sleeping and it is quiet at home. So that's how my average work day was looking in this week. Will that be the same on the next week? Yes, about the same. Uh, only difference will be on first part of the day that we'll see how much time I will need to spend on that startup thing and all that startup workshop and pitching and so on and how much time I will have for my own iOS development but day plan will be about the same. Today it is Friday already, I'm recording this video on the morning and it is about, yeah, it's going, coming close to noon, I will have a lunch and will switch to freelancing and I will edit this video on the evening or on the weekends. And on weekends I'm trying to do not work at all, if that is possible but usually I still have my morning working hours. So this video looks more like <laughs> what I'm working on and what I'm really doing in this week, not like a video in, not like a, one of those videos day in a life of a developer, but that's how, <laughs> that's how my work, work week looks like. Let me know if you are interested uh, to know what I'm working on and what I'm doing somehow regularly, maybe that could be monthly or quarterly thing, just to get some updates, how things are going, 
and I could add some financial aspect to that as well. I will not be able to share numbers about our startup, but I can share numbers about my YouTube channel and about my own app revenue and so on. So if you are interested to know more about that, let me know. And yeah, this is <laughs> mostly sitting and talking video with very little action from my side. So that could be released in the podcast as well. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye. Like and subscribe buttons are down below. Bye.